everybody. Welcome back to another weekend of our Weekend Warrior activities. <laughs> so we just wrapped up uh, our first desert trip. The Can-Am did really well with all the upgrades that we did with the shock therapy front sway, the method tires, the 33 DSRs, the limit straps, the axles. What else did we do? The Heim joints and the TLS. Like everything rode pretty well. Actually like a new car. Yeah, there was only like one... There was only one little minor thing. We just had a check engine. It was just what the wastegate was, you know. Oh, it was, uh, so the last time we went out, the clip had fallen off the wastegate. Yeah. And it undid itself. So when we put it back on, I didn't measure the PSI. So it was reading low boost. But I went ahead and um, did the measurements on the PSI, yeah, and it was at 12 when it should be at 8. Well, the wastegate's back so. behind all this stuff. But anyways, the, the car did really well, guys. But this, uh, we're getting ready for Glamis. Yes. We're getting ready for Glamis, and we That's just exciting. wanted, yeah, we just wanted to make some adjustments on the speed straps and our trailer. So we got the, as when at the stand show, we got the baskets. And we just picked up these, picked up the, the way we had it, we, well, when I showed you guys when we were leaving, we knew it wasn't going to work out, but we wanted to see how it did. Uh, it did come a little bit loose. We just tightened it because they're brand new. So we got this Shax system. Kevin's just getting it all prepped here to see how it looks. So this is eventually this, what's going on right now. This is the setup that's going to be on the trailer. So this is just a mock-up of how he wants to get this all set. So this is how we want it. The rear is gonna have the buckets and then the front is gonna have just the straight straps. Yeah, yeah, so basically this kit, remember we had the around the, inside the wheel? Yeah. We went around. So I came up with an idea and uh, I tried something new. So if essentially this is what's gonna, how it's gonna look like. We also mocked it up over here on the Jeep. So just to get to help this is going to be the front tire. So the rear, I just showed you guys the rear where the baskets are going to sit on the rear tires. The front tires are going to sit like this, how it's just right over the wheel. There's the tracks. So we are, we do, so we pick this up and these up. These are, these are all sold separately, right, on Amazon. So we pick, yes. I'll put all the links if anyone's interested in I mean, doing something like this. These are also, since it's uh, stamped. I believe you're allowed to use it for commercial use also. Okay. Yeah, so so I guess a lot of people, so how we're going to put this down, a lot of people use t t tapping screws, which um, I think, yes. I'm not sure, but I'm not comfortable with that. So we went to down here, uh, we went to McFaddendale. McFaddendale is where all the, is where we get all of our bolts everything screws and whatnot so we went to McFaddendale and picked up some screws so what we're gonna do is we even picked up a, a drill bit we're gonna drill all these on there to give it a little bit more security I'm just not we're just not comfortable with just the tapping screws I mean you can get away with it people do it right yeah, yeah. but I kind of want you know us just, I like to overkill yeah, we just want to so basically we're gonna put some washers on it so the top part, we're not actually going to put any washers. So and just, just on the bottom? That, see, that's the way it looks really good right there. So and then on the bottom, beneath this, since it's fully here. solid metal all the way across, okay. uh, we're going to run a washer, and then we're actually going to run a nylon nut. Okay. Blocking nut, so that way it doesn't back itself out. Yeah, so basically Kevin's just kind of mocking everything out right now. We rarely have a weekend where we're home doing stuff. When we are, you know, we, we're always cramming because we're cramming for the next trip. So, I mean, everything's starting to look... This was the only thing that we wanted to fix. With this, is also going to make it a lot faster because everything's going to be set. And every time I unhook, all I got to do is uh, figure out how to use this. Oh, <laughs> well, okay. once, once we get the final product, we'll show you guys how quick it's going to be easy right. to install because this is essentially what we're going to use to snap on and off, right? Yeah, so yeah. basically just uh, unlatch it. Yeah. So and these then... are already going to be, these are all so going to be latched. all these. Okay, yeah. So definitely we're going to get everything permanently screwed in and then we'll show you guys how the final result works. So right now it's just, you know, just a, a mock-up to get an idea 
and a mock-up over there. So once we're done with the mock-up and we're comfortable with how we like everything sitting, then we'll just get everything permanently installed. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, so the tracks are taken off of the wheels. Everything's all set up. It's looking good. Kevin already went ahead and drilled all the the holes that are needed so we know where it's already going to be placed. So these are what we bought again. We're not going with tapping screws. We opted to just get like actual bolts and nuts. And it looks like everything's ready to go. I think he's just screw, uh, drilling his last few, last, last couple ones. Here. Okay. So let me check this out. The and drill bit lasted. That's it. And that was an Irwin one, right? Yeah, 64 holes. Yeah, so we had to do 64. This one. So now we're ready to put everything, screw everything. What Kevin's gonna do is um, use our, you know, a little grease to grease the bolts, just to prevent any rust. And then we'll get we'll get all these all screwed on. There you go. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's get this first one on. So at the cause this is this trailer is a car trailer uh with the, the dovetail. That end, it's it is lifting up a little bit. Does it get bent or how does that work? Yeah, so once we tighten it, it'll just suck just, it down. It'll it's just not start. that bad. Oh, okay, alright. Oh, and then the can ams gonna be on top of it anyway. Yeah, well the tires gonna be right here. Okay, so that those are the, that's what the tapes were. Okay. Yeah, so it's a hundred and three wheelbase, center is center. I want the tires to sit exactly in the middle, so that way we can utilize just the ends. All right. Yeah, because again, those ends, those these those uh hooks, they're those are gonna be removable. Mm -hmm. So that the straps, we don't have to keep. Constantly adjusting and un untying the straps. The only thing that we hopefully only really need to do is just to crank it and snap it down to tighten it. Yeah, it should be a fairly easy setup. All right. So. So we just gotta. More go. time to play. <laughs> we just gotta get underneath to put the the nut. Did we get yeah nut and washer? And we just gotta do that with the other three as well. All right. Um. So Kevin is gonna need some help here. We got all the screws prepped. I just have to go up here and hold the Allen key so yeah. that he can tighten it. Ready? Yeah. yeah that one's good. All right, we got everything all screwed and these are ready to go. We just have to put, so this is how this is gonna work. The straps are gonna go onto this and we're just gonna have to lift this to take it off. So the so that way the straps will always be hitched to this and we just have to snap these on. And that's it. All of them are done. And then let me just go down there real quick to show you guys how it looks like all uh, bolted on and everything. So there you guys have it. We have it all bolted. We had to drill the holes. And that's it. And you can see over there too. They're just hanging down. It's looking good. Alright guys. So I'm just checking in on the 
straps, the tie down to see which method is working so far. So the the passenger tire is the baskets, and then the one is just you know a straight wrap around. And it's looking like I don't know. Let me see if I can brighten this up. We're leaving, of course, after work, and it's a little dark. I feel like the basket has a little bit more play, and the driver's side one looks pretty solid. See how much closer I can get. The lighting is just not so good. I don't know. I mean, they both work really well. But the I feel like the driver one seems pretty solid. Alright guys, so we are out in Glamis and we're just getting the tire bonnets refitted. We took off and we didn't like how it was driving here. The rear actually um, fell off so you know that's <laughs> not good. So we're just going to redo everything now so when we get ready to go home we're going to put it on correctly. So we're just getting the bonnets all pre-fitted so the speed strap comes with the two bonnets in the back and then the one just straight away so we're going to put the straights on when we go home so we're pre-fitting the front but we're we're essentially going to be putting the bonnets in the rear right yes because the strap fell off in the back when the straightaways fell off yeah so uh, so the bonnets will be in the front is, uh, use the straightaway because it stays into the, the groove right here so I think once we get this thing settled down and uh, have, everything, have everything marked, what I'm gonna do is my, I might just like possibly sew it or maybe put some zip ties. So every time it'll just be at the same exact spot. It'll be fixed. Well, uh, not uh, keep in mind that we these are sand tires, so uh, they're not the same. We are these 32s or 33s? These are these are 32s. Yes. and they're sand tires so the fitting is going to be different when we put our other tires back on because we upgraded to 33 dsrs mm -hmm. so yeah we would definitely have a well, lot of adjustments should, it should be almost the same size maybe off by half an inch other than that we're liking the track system and when we go home well when we go home this weekend i'm going to show you guys how it looks all strapped down and once we take off other than that i mean they are doing pretty good Minus the one mishap where we should be putting the bonnets in the rear with these sand tires because it the rear it slipped off. So yikes, that's not too good. <laughs> but uh, the, we made it here safe. With the bonnets in the front, they're rated for fifteen hundred pounds, I believe. So the car is only I believe twenty one fully loaded. So as long as the front is still anchored down, we're golden. All right. So we're just going to continue on with uh, the fitting and we'll continue on with our Glamis trip. Alright guys, so here's how it looks. We're packing up from Glamis. Here's how it looks with the front over the wheel right here. And then the rear are both of the bonnets. Got these. So yeah, this track system, you know, this is, I feel like this is like the safest way to tie down your rig. So. I don't know, let us know what your, your guys' thoughts are. Hey guys, let us know what your thoughts are. Is this really the safest way to tie down your straps? Or rig we do with these straps, uh, we believe it is the safest way. But I mean, you know, do what feels right to you guys and be safe out there guys. We will see you guys next week. We'll post up the Glamis vlog. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week. See you guys back here in Glamis. <laughs> Later Bye. guys, shred it. <laughs>